Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. A ribbon cutting ceremony marked the opening of the new SRS Museum on October 27, 2014 at the former Dibble Library in Aiken, South Carolina. For nearly 60 years, the Savannah River site has proudly served the nation. Created in the midst of Cold War secrecy, SRS operated safely and securely to produce one third of the nation's weapons grade plutonium and all of the nation's tritium both integral components of nuclear weapons. To help keep the SRS story fresh and promote return visits, curators plan an interactive program of rotating artifacts, videos, photographs, and exhibits. The SRS Museum will open to the public in 2015 and is the brainchild of retired SRS employee, Walter Joseph. Walt is like water on a rock. When he starts to do something, it gets done. Ten years of dreaming and planning and working and, and it's all come to fruition today. We want to talk not only about the history of the site, but also about how that history has been used to build for programs that are going on now and in, in, into the future. This means a lot because it's now going to allow people to see in the future what the site has done in the past and what an incredible facility it is. This is a story that really needs to be told, how it's affected this country, how it won the Cold War, the technology that came out of it. The educational opportunities here are tremendous. And to have it downtown conveniently located so we can tie into the rest of the tourism in the area also I think is a great thing.